Before I let you watch this episode where we discover a big, big problem, uh, I just want to apologize because we rambled a little bit at the end of this video, but that's what has been going on and we like to show it all, the good, the bad, so I guess it's part of it. So sorry if you think we rumble a bit too much, but anyway, enjoy this episode. Action! Getting all the through holes out. Yeah, you can see these uh, kaput, as I would say. We have another technical term, but people uh, think that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just grind them out, bash the head off, the, the rim of the hat, imagine it as a top hat, uh, and then, uh, so yeah, grind and bash, grind and bash. It's grind pretty, and bash. It's pretty simple, uh, but most of them are, they're breaking. Um, without me having to bash too hard, so... It's the good thing about being a, an <laughs> old boat. <laughs> dubious about that, but uh, obviously we'll go for... We're in two minds, but last time we went for True Design. If anybody else can recommend something better than True Design, let me know, but... Uh, true Design to me, yeah. It's a, it's a good. <laughs> Alright, let me get to the grinding and the bashing. <laughs> I'm running low on Makita batteries. I have like three and two of them are cracked. <laughs> yeah, we need a few of these because the ones we've got, they are old. But uh, I might buy a new drill, treat myself. It's my birthday next week, so. So this is what's been happening, they've been breaking. That's all right, I mean, they needed replacing. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a firm believer on plastic. As much plastic on the boat as possible. Look all that came out. All these are like nests from, how are they called, Stuart? Mud dobbies. Mud, what? Dobbies or something. This was all in one of the through holes. Yeah, but they're all right. Yeah, they're quite nice. Quite majestic little things. Yeah, but we don't want nests in a boat. Wow, yeah. Look how shiny that one is. That was a good one, wasn't it? But it took a little bit longer. So yeah, these two, this one and this one are getting covered up because they're for the toilet and the aft cabin. Better not popping in near my bed. The toilet in the aft cabin we're getting rid of and we're just having it as a shower so but then the shower needs to drain somewhere where is it gonna drain we'll drain into a central box and that will drain into the side of the sink so the sinks obviously the sink and the, and the galley is the one you use the most the other one you don't really use so the sink will go straight to a through hole and a shower box will be teed in so with two showers, two sinks, that will all get teed into a little strainer box. So that's meaning we only have one skin fitting for the three sinks. Waste. Three sinks and two showers. Okay. Because it's there's two of us living on here. <laughs> if anybody else comes, I'm sure you're not gonna have a shower at the same time unless you're having a shower together. Then you don't mind it overflowing. <laughs> Well, there's no space for that, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, there is. When I re uh, reorganise a shower with my shower seat, because I'm getting old. <laughs> Sorry about the singing. Stuart's uh, having a good time. <laughs> We've got too many holes in this hole. One. Two. Three. Four, 
Eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Twelve holes. Twelve. Biggest belief. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we're getting rid of that. I think we're down to six, possibly a seventh if we get one of them machines that make the water. But I can't afford one of those right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> As you know, we go to the bean very often just to see if there's any treasure. <laughs> and today Stuart found a big, big treasure. Look at that. <laughs> They had a little split in the seam, so we six flexed it together. So we're going to go try it out now. Yeah, let's have a look at the patch you've done. Obviously, it's not cleaned up. I just yeah, the seam was tape. open there, so we just put some six flex. It's holding so far. We don't have the paddle, though. We did just throw out an oar, but it wasn't long enough. Yeah, it was a short. We just threw out a short oar that we all. Also found in the bin. <laughs> no, we didn't find that in the bin, it was left on the bottom. Oh yeah, it was near the boat, true. Anyway, Stuart's gonna have a go. I don't trust it, so... <laughs> uh, I can <laughs> I'll just have a look at him first. Although it's so hot today that it wouldn't be bad to just fall in the water. <laughs> This is both your life though. Sometimes you have to have a little bit of fun as well. We've got a lot to do, but Sunday. you still have to play and it's Sunday, so. I know it obviously needs more air inside. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so it's not fixed yet. <laughs> yeah, that needs more air. the water? Salty. Is it fresh? No, salty, I've just said. No, like cool. I mean cool. It's wet. Ooh. Okay, so we need to put more Sikaflex in. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Ah, you didn't put it all the way. I tried. Are you nice and cool now? No you fell in like flip-flops on. Sunglasses on. I just saw that. Did you like... jump on the board with your flip flops on? Yeah, how else do you do it? I see people doing yoga on it. Uh, yoga on these things. <laughs> right. I thought they were like rock solid, like a pontoon. I thought I could raft up to it. <laughs> well, little do I know, it's basically like a sketchy surfboard. Oh, God. <laughs> this boat is like a colander. Colander? Colander? Well, you know what I mean. It's full of holes. <laughs> oh God, good ventilation. <laughs> this is the only ones left to take off. The other day when I was counting the holes, I didn't count the ones that were above the water line. We've got four more, which makes it 16. Oh yeah, but the ones above the water line, we might keep, we might move up. We have realized that there is a bump on the keel. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. But looking at the keel from behind, I don't think the camera shows. There's a, a little bump there. So we think it might be delaminating. So Stuart is uh, 
feeling positive and he just grabbed the drill and he's gonna drill a hole in there because uh, there's a lot of stuff here just here that needs doing and I think next week we've got a bit of a resin week Did it go in your mouth? Yeah. Does it smell? Yes. Oh, it's like vinegar. <laughs> Sorry about the swearing, but <laughs> this couldn't be like... <laughs> wow. Wow! <laughs> yeah, he's totally, he's totally delaminated. Okay. So. Yeah, the bump. <laughs> so we're gonna have to grind all that off, right? Maybe go down so maybe there's water up there. <laughs> it's not funny, it's the water. Yeah, there's a bit of water. Oh god. And it stinks. Oh, I'm covered in it. Luckily, I changed my shorts. It came out like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got no blisters apart from that one, and that's obviously from inside. What do you mean from inside? Well, the water is penetrated from the inside. Oh yeah, water that was probably in the bilge when it yeah. had water in, but yeah. Oof. <laughs> A problem. Let's grind it out. Five glass it. That's good. So is this is this massive patch that That's we're gonna right. have to redo? Yeah, we know a man here called Jack, and he's got the same boat, and he says every year I take a rock. And you can see his bow there, smash on the keel and draining water. So if he is able to do it, I'm sure we can do it. I was telling this to her, maybe we should do this another day because I had a bad feeling about it. I'm just covered in that. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a shower, you stink. I gotta try out the paddleboard again. Go for a swim with your new paddleboard. Uh, considering it's got a puncher, it's still holding pretty good air. Okay, we're gonna start covering holes. So we're gonna start just with one and have a look and see how it goes. And then we'll probably do the rest all together. So we've got a little cup on the hole. So when Stuart grinds outside, the dust doesn't come in. We've got new stirs. They're fancy. 
They're a bit wobbly, but we like wobbly. Stuart's got his working uniform on. <laughs> Marina bought some more. Yeah, bought those for me, but they were too big. All the dots, yeah, look, you've got like white hair. No, I think I'm just going grey. No, no, it's like the dust, you're covering dust. That's what I put my hat on. I don't think that mask works very well. We've ordered another one and it's arriving oh, no, today. Oh, she's alright. She's a P2. She's good. Yeah, but that's old. It's super old. <laughs> but I haven't used it that much. <laughs> no, so... Look at that. That was super quick. Yeah, we're still in two mines. Well, we've still got to just do a bit more. Yes. This here is the current uh, fuel tank that we've got on the boat. And it's fiberglass thin, it's really nice, perfect for the boat. But we're going to get rid of it because we want to first check the state of the bilge underneath, make sure everything is okay. And second, it's just really dirty inside and it doesn't have an inspection chamber. Uh, inspection hatch. Spe inspection hatch. So we just want to get rid of it and get something new. So we found the right tank for this bilge. It fits, it would fit perfectly. It's from an Italian company and you can't order directly from their website they just sell to like businesses so we found this company in Germany who sells the tank but we've had many problems with it we've had a horrible week it's, it's funny it's ironic that with all the problems that the boat got and all the work we have to do this is the hardest time we've had so far just chasing up the liveries and having problems and I don't think there is anything more stressful than having to chase a parcel when it doesn't arrive. Anyway, customer service really, really bad. Our experience has been really bad. Maybe with all the clients it's not the case. I don't know. If you wouldn't know which company it is to be careful, let us know and we'll tell you. <laughs> but Stuart has been having a really hard week and he's not happy. <laughs> it's just a joke, you know. So. A, first and foremost, to take, you know, everyone's on holiday because Europe shuts down, Southern Europe shut down. So we don't mind waiting. We wait, we wait, we wait, it's cool. But then it gets to the point where, you know, it's three and a half weeks now. This guy who I've been dealing with, he's, ah, oh, my boat used to be there and, all, and I had many parcels stolen. So first thing I hear is... Which is not true, it's been really good for us, yeah. like we've had, this marine has been amazing. Yeah, so this guy is now accusing fellow yachtsmen of being thieves. This, so I've already, I'm right, right, like, all right, you know, everyone's had bad, different experiences. And then finally I find, find the parcel. So I'm looking for a 130 litre tank. So it's a fair size. They send a 43 litre tank and then no worries, we're getting it all sorted and the new one's gonna come. But what really got under my skin is he's con he now contacts the marina to say we're taking other people's parcels. When I have paid four just shy of 450 euros for a fuel tank, all I get is 43 euro, 43 liters of tank. I then have to go take that back to the marina and this guy is just like, oh, but if, if if I don't contact the marina, you're just going to take the tank. Just like everybody else, you're just going to steal it from me. And the guy's sent the wrong stuff, accused me of being a thief. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's just getting beyond a joke. So what can we do, you know? This is just, you, you just, yeah, you, you just start to lose your sort of rag a bit, especially when you're dealing with arrogant salesmen. Frustrating, and it really is. And a bit upsetting when you're dealing with people like this. It just, it's just upsetting to be honest. Yeah, when they they take your money and they offer you nothing in return. Now, oh, well. say, Levi.